Jen from Spectrum Eye Care. Today we're doing a test, an anisoconia test. This is a test we developed here at Digital Optometry to determine the effects that large changes in either the sphere or the cylinder or the cylinder axis will have on image size. It's mostly as a result of sudden changes. A uh, patient had an accident, had recent surgery, had a corneal transplant, um, had anything where there is a sudden change involved. These are people that will benefit from this kind of test. These are used also to decide how much to compensate your final result. That is the main purpose here. How much do we compensate our final result? And this will give you some guidelines based on some feedback from the patient. Congenital patients usually do not have a problem as they have adapted to these conditions. It's the sudden ones we want. The tests are done binocularly with anaglyphs over the best corrected monocular prescription found for each eye. Firstly, let's look at how we do the test. Anisocone tests are done binocularly. Firstly, select the auxiliary anisoconia test using the spectrum toolbars. Now rotate the red and green bars using the mouse wheel or remote until they are in the horizontal plane. The readout in the top left corner should be 90. Greater movements can be done by holding the left mouse button and sliding the mouse from side to side. Ask your patient which line appears longer and adjust the spherical power of the eye with a poorer VA until the lines appear the same length. Should the best VA be the same in each eye, adjust the spherical power of the recently operated eye or the injured eye until the lines appear the same length. You will find that one eye with the higher plus or least minus will usually report the longer line. Once the line lengths appear the same, the magnification is balanced and this will give you the best final Rx likely to cause the least discomfort binocularly. Now let's have a look how we compensate the sill power. Firstly, as with the spheres, select auxiliary and a zirconia test using the spectrum toolbars. Rotate the lines of the cylinder axis to the, that of the eye with a poorer VA. Should the VA be the same in each eye, adjust the axis power to that recently operated or injured eye. The patient might report that the lines look the same length along the axis meridian. Click on the white ring approximately 90 degrees to the axis to move the two bars to the power meridian. You will notice that the white ring will highlight when the on-screen pointer is perpendicular to the axis as I'm indicating now. Now ask the patient which line appears longer and adjust the cylinder power until the lines appear the same length. Once the line length appears the same, the magnification is balanced and this will give you the best final Rx likely to cause the least discomfort binocularly. You might be surprised but this test can also be used to find the cylinder axis compensation. You can compensate the sill axis if there's a big change using this test as well. Let's see how we do that. We're using cases where significant difference to the previous cylinder axis. This is usually only necessary when you're dealing with large oblique cells. Select auxiliary and anisoconia test using the spectrum toolbars. Rotate the red and green bars using the mouse wheel or remote until they are in the horizontal plane. The readout in the top left corner again should be 90. Ask the patient if the two bars are parallel. If not, adjust the cylinder axis of the eye with a large sill until the bar appears horizontal and parallel. Check your final Rx and point out to the patient that although there may be a reduction in the monocular VA, the final balanced binocular prescription will be a lot more comfortable to wear. You'll be surprised that although you've made fairly large adjustments to either the sill, the sphere or the sill axis, often there's only a very small decrease in the vision in that eye. It's quite surprising, but it is quite interesting. One line drop off is quite normal, even though you've made quite a big change. Thanks for watching. More next time. Until then, stay connected via the LinkedIn community.